Can I get a, a medium blue raspberry colada? Okay. Cup holder. We obtained Sam Crack's Volkswagen Touareg with a V10 diesel and decided it would make a great base for an armored car. So I'm at the HTP workshop here in Chicago with several other YouTubers. Before we arrived, Peter Zila already had our materials laser cut and bent with a press brake. In theory, all we have to do is assemble the pieces and weld it up. And then of course we can test it. I think we're safe to drive this in Chicago. <laughs> we were also really excited to use the sweet new HTP Revolution 2500, but more on that later. So I'm gonna start by removing the rear bumper if I can. No idea how to do this, don't have a repair manual. Probably this thing open up. Does it stay up? No, oh, no, it doesn't. There we go. Yeah, you see, it's like my Mercedes, so I should have known that. Okay, cool. I see, and the problem is, it's all cool. The plastic actually does break. You know, like, where's the proper PPE? <laughs> all we have goes to is. So over here we have Caleb from Gingium. Uh, he is getting to, ha! <laughs> He's really getting to work here on the front bumper. What kind of work do you do on your YouTube channel? I just do like custom fabrication on mostly old Japanese cars. Old Japanese cars, like 90s cars, Miatas. Got a little mini truck and stuff. Just fun stuff like that. Yeah, cool stuff. All Sam cracks, old crap in it. <laughs> oh no. Siri says the battery is under the driver's seat. Oh, I think, yep, yeah, it definitely is. Look at this. Oh, this is not good. What is not good? They, uh, it's the, the, the special teeth, uh, Volkswagen's oh, are here. Oh, multi-tooth You don't have triple squares? Oh, yeah, I should have brought not mine. Oh, uh, that's, that's a rookie move. <laughs> working on a Volkswagen. I'm set up to squares. work on Volkswagen with my triple square sockets and my Vagcom and all that stuff, but I didn't <laughs> bring my specialty tools here. Yes, yeah, so these vehicles are super hard to work on. You have to remove the driver's seat in order to remove the battery. That's kind of ridiculous. Time for the Sawzall. All right, all right, calm down there. I think what they did at the factory is they installed the lift gate, then they put the top roof panel on, and there's no way to get it undone without... It's just, it's not serviceable. Thanks. So yeah. if you ever would have a, a rear end accident, oh you would God. just have to scrap the whole car because the tailgate can never be replaced. It's not serviceable. The insurance rates for these things but must be the astronomical. It's got to be a way to replace it, though, or to fix it. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars in body fees. They take the roof off, then they can put a new one of these on, and then they put it's the German roof back over engineer, on. Though. Yeah, yeah. I've owned a lot of Audis in my life, and this is bringing back the horror memories. Really, I mean, your hands hurt when you work on it. Yeah. Sometimes you have to have a guy step on it, break some fingers, so he can get around and in, and that you think that hurts, but the wallet hurts a lot more. It's on those too, cars. It's true. All right, is it saws all time? Yeah, so the service manual doesn't say this, but the shortcut to removing the hatch is to use an angle grinder. Aw, Peter, you scratched the paint. I mean, he, he means business, you know, he, <laughs> with, with, with a power tool in hand. We continued disassembling the vehicle until we got to the point where it was time to start mounting the armor plating. We decided to start with the hood since that would give us a reference point to mount the fenders and grill later on. All right, this is my first time using this sweet new machine. Yeah, that was a really nice job. Yeah.
I mean, it's only took like 22 hours in a pad to design. Yeah, we're just cutting it up and ruining it. <laughs> Good? You want a helmet? No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh shit, is this okay? Just put one tack on it, then we're gonna grab some cardboard real quick. Alright, buddy, in design. That is good, bud. Yep. Holds it there. And then fill this in with whatever. I mean, it needs to be tall now at this point. Oh, whoa. Oh, it kind of fits. Oh, dude, it's so close. I mean, it's not perfect, but this will We needed to do some cardboard-aided design, and as it turned out, Ben from VTuned is very good at it. We translated the cardboard design to the plasma table and let it work its magic. We kept on working and the front end really started to come together. Somebody drew a rocket ship here, so I think we just need to add, like, you know, some flames coming from it. Yeah, that's better. I got to spend a good amount of time using the machine to fully weld the fender panels, and I'm happy to report that the machine welds really well, although that's not too surprising. My favorite feature of the machine is that it is a multifunction machine, capable of MIG, TIG, stick, and flux core. What really makes it stand out is that it can do MIG pulse welding, which is usually only found on advanced MIG-only machines, and it can do AC TIG welding, which is usually only found on advanced TIG-only machines. If you're someone who wants one welding machine that can do it all, this one is definitely worth a look. All right, well, that's the end of day one. We made some pretty good progress today. Tomorrow we got to do a front bumper. We still got to do a bunch more stuff, some other door armor, and the bumper is going to be really cool. It's going to have like teeth and stuff. So if we don't paint the thing, if we ram people with it, it'll probably give them tetanus. Good morning. It is day two. We have a lot of work to get done on this thing. So let's get to it. Back up, back up. <laughs> yeah, I think we're, I'm literally just gonna plasma cut a hole. Here. Now we have the two sunroof option on this thing. It's like it's the panoramic sunroof. No. Look, mom. Yeah, I'm really liking this pulse. I think I'm gonna have to pick up some 90-10 gas. Day two saw us armoring the rear of the vehicle. We ended up having to do a fair amount of custom fabricating, but the end result was very clean.
Yeah, that's really holy. Oh, that's hot in there. Uh, uh, don't touch it. Oh, yeah, it yes, we're cool. on. We are on fire. Okay. Here, let me show you where it's on fire. It's just ashes now, but there's a little bit of fire in there. You can see. Uh, I thought it was gonna like boil. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's how hot it was. Yeah, it was Good morning, day three of the build. We made some pretty good progress yesterday. In fact, it's almost done except for the front bumper. We have some side steps to do and uh, we have to paint it as well. So yeah, let's get going. And it's hot AF. This, this will go through the big lump. And then just yeah, make a couple like more stitches and then that piece is on too. Dual shield flex core, this stuff is awesome. Yeah, so I think what we're doing is we're gonna hold these on here. Out here doing all the work again. Oh wait, no, now they're helping. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. So right now we are actually prepping this vehicle for a full fleet paint job. This has to be one of the greatest vehicles ever built, made in America. That's not good when your arm hurts, that it needs, needs to practice. So then after all this jerking around, now a bunch of screwing, put that thing on there. Things awesome. It wasn't long before we got bored and thirsty and decided to drive it to the nearest Dunkin' Donuts drive through This is our view right now. Uh, yeah, you're good to go, right? right? <laughs> A little sharper? Sharper? Yeah. Sharper? Yeah. Can I get a, a medium blue raspberry colada? Okay. Yeah, we're just getting ready for the apocalypse. There's a revolution coming. Slightly undignified getting in and out. Yeah. Tell us what your Dunkin' order is. Yeah, but uh, like what is this, a blue raspberry colada? I just asked for the girliest drink they had and this is what they gave me. How was it? Pretty good, pretty fun, dude. All right, so as you can see, we have this thing on a trailer. Now we could just drive this thing around the streets of Chicago and get shot at. However, we figured it's probably safer to do it in a controlled environment. So we're gonna bring this somewhere where we can test out the armor plating. After a bit of driving, we made it to our undisclosed location. 
So I'm going to shoot directly on the windshield. All right. Yeah. Fire in the hole in three, two, one. Oh, nothing. Yeah, just a mark just under the passenger side thing. It didn't even really dent it. It yeah. just kind of scraped away some Ooh, of the Oh, I'm liner. liking this. Yeah. You missed. <laughs> you guys good? Yep. Clear? Yeah, this thing's actually so yeah. far bulletproof. I think we're safe to drive this in Chicago. <laughs> 300 blackout, uh, gonna shoot at the windshield. Woo -wee. Woo -wee. <laughs> this is nice, I like this. Oh my gosh, yeah. holy yeah. cow. Yeah, I think it wouldn't well, it go, through. go through. No, yeah. it got him, look at that. All right, well, that's a wrap. The vehicle is mostly bulletproof. We had a ton of fun making this thing. We had a ton of fun using it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't film me welding vertical down. I'm gonna get yelled at in my comments. Let's see. That's yeah, aluminum. That's aluminum. That's why it doesn't weld yeah. right. <laughs> You're trying to yeah. <laughs> Okay. Now this is an Simple. advanced machine, but unfortunately it can't yet weld steel with aluminum filler wire. They're working on that, I think. We were gonna make it wireless, but we couldn't get the parts in time because of the war in Ukraine. Mr. Spot. Thank you. Cameraman, you're fired. <laughs> I'm very good at this. <laughs> <laughs>